Boom. We are back. Segment four. IDD for those who know. Uh, I don't disagree. That is the Redella one time. It's a highly questionable Audrey Miliaccio. Segment four on a frigid Friday. We let are at get, the witching hour. Let me get a temperature hour. check here. We are in the witching hour. This is dedication, America. I got to tell you right Temperature now. check, 1247. A.M. Central Virginia. East. Well, but we're in Eastern times. 41 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so we're above freezing. We can't bitch that much. Dude, it's fucking cold. 41? If, if it was 32, I'd be like, holy shit, this is impressive. Dude, 41 <laughs> is pretty impressive. 41, I'm not saying it's not, but 32 would be. Impressive. We're sitting out here doing this dumb shit in 41? Dumb shit, all three of you. You better appreciate us. <laughs> We do this for you. <laughs> we do this for all of you. We do this for um, you. You 100 without subscribers. You, we, there would Half be of you no doubled us. up. Uh, I mean, without, <laughs> thank you. Without our following, there would be no us. There would be no us. You know, and yeah, all 75. You think yeah. about it as a team. I mean, we wake up, you know, we put our pants on one leg after the other, just like anyone else. The only reason we Well, one leg before the other. That's that, that true. <laughs> um, but, I mean, when you think about where we are because of, you know, people's backs we've stood up on this is true i mean you really you just got to give it up and be grateful oh absolutely thankful I mean, nothing without our fans thanksgiving is is upon us it is and we're we giving, have a lot we're to giving give. thanks we have a lot to be thankful for we get uh, to do this on a friday night our wives don't kill us they will probably believe we're out they don't want to talk they don't want to hear us <laughs> our talk wives about push us out the door they <laughs> push us out the door you know they never argue it's like no go enjoy yourself <laughs> i'm like i know we were supposed to go out to eat but, i uh, won't wait up we're supposed to record <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, like I won't wait up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I do feel bad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I know we just watched football last night for Thursday night, but me and Audrey are recording tonight. They, they, this is a game. Well, this is a one. This is actually a game. By is, the way, this uh, is what you call Brooketh of the Dynasty. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> don't start with that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Brookenham the Third. How are you gonna go there, man? Dynasty uh, Brookenham the Third. Dynastilo. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesto <laughs> Asbestos <laughs> Buchenberg. Oh, my God. Oh, he got him! Oh! oh. <laughs> Man, that ball was just a little short. But we're watching my dad's alma mater, Wyoming Cowboys. Oh, at, that was it. On the road at UNLV. Wyoming 6-3, UNLV 7-2. That and was 2. Fourth and six. If Wyoming wins, or if UNLV wins this game, they'll probably be ranked next week, assuming somebody loses. Because um, they'd be 8-2. That was a Slightly nice underthrown. And, Slightly. A good, and a good defensive play. That's in the basket, though. No, he could have. No, nah, if that ball's out in front, I think he catches probably it. Probably still, but that wasn't a terrible. Play. No, no, no. I think it was. I think no, the, that was the kid made a good play too. The defensive back like, was there. Oh, and he well, there's still the ball. nine minutes. Yeah, there's play third quarter. I thought. I thought they went for it. Oh, in the third. Third, we got time. Oh, we're not going to bed anytime soon. Might be another drink there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, last time we had a good uh, oh. college football game on a sa- on a Friday, Friday night. night. That was, was when night. Colorado and Colorado State played. That was a Donnie. That was that a was the, great that fucking the, game. That was the definition of Donnie. <laughs> that was one of those. We were watching yeah. it the whole time, yeah. and in the first half, we were so disappointed. We thought Colorado was going to run away with it. Colorado State came back. Oh, that's right. Remember they came back. It wasn't back. the first half. It was. It was <laughs> at what point we thought they was going to. Because State came back and took the lead. Dude, it was 29 to nothing. And then when they came back and took the lead, and we were like, if Dion loses this game, I mean, we thought I can't lose this we game. We thought Colorado State was headed for the buses yeah. at halftime. Yeah. This look, this had a this had a 50-point drubbing written all over it. And Colorado State, to their credit, came all the way back and won that game in overtime. <laughs> what was what was what Fucking was um, crazy. crazy? Equally on the other side of the spectrum, demoralizing. Was the game where Colorado What's, did run away and then lost? That was Stanford. Oh, that's right. They beat Colorado State. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Stanford was terrible. Stanford. That was the game. Was so we had the high point, yeah. which was Colorado beating Colorado State. State. And, a, and a the low point was, dude, I, Stanford. They were. They were. What, what they were. They, they were there. Twenty nine. They were up twenty nothing? something. Yeah, twenty nine to nothing. Yikes. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, they came. Oh, Stanford that's what came, you were thinking when yeah, it was Colorado Stanford State. Stanford came all the way back. No, it was the Stanford game. I put the. T- I missed so the Colorado ball. State was the game where they were down and the came, whole time and, and came back like, and no. won. No, it was the Stanford game that they should have won in a route mm. and blew it. It was one of the biggest collapses you'll ever see. And they were at home, which is even the worst part so about it. Tough. It was so. It was so def- deflating. It was because honestly, I was all on the Dion bandwagon until that one. Because I didn't expect them. Look, they, they, there's no way. No, you're, you're not on the Dion bandwagon until 
Oregon smacked them, and then you you turned right then. Mm, you did. Well, they did embarrass them. They did. They embarrassed. Bad. Them. That was bad. But that's when you turned. And then he ripped his players. And me and you argued. When for he a kept while. saying, he's telling everybody he's seven right away, and then he rips his players when he knows he's seven. Did right you away. see the? Did you see the new one where? Sorry, I'm not even talking to this fucking mic. Are you? you probably can't hear me. This old goddamn episode. Yeah, you can. Because I'm, I'm talking to the goddamn heater. He's <laughs> Sorry if you couldn't hear me the whole fucking God. night. I'm talking to the heater. Um, no, but there's a. I saw a, a more recent video, I think, where Dion's being interviewed. And Just making sure he didn't hit the mute button. It, it might have been this week, but he's like, yeah, you know, we had a good week of practice. We had a couple of fights. And he goes, which I think is a good thing. He goes, I don't break it up either. And I, and I, keep, and I keep the records, too, because I want to know who won. And he goes, he goes, yeah, you know, most coaches get in there and break them up. I don't break them up because some kids start fights knowing it's going to get broken up. <laughs> and I was like, seems like something RJ would like. <laughs> he's not lying about that, by the way. You like that philosophy? No. Let them fight? I'm not saying that per se. I'm saying there are. I don't, I've, I don't I've had that teammates that, that would do that. Yeah, start a fight knowing that someone's going to step in. Knowing that someone's going to step in because you're not really going to fight them because you know you get your ass kicked if you did. Yeah. I've seen, I've had some teammates that would do it. Not many. But I don't like seeing fights in practice, no. but I mean, I mean, if guys are really going at it that hard where they need to punch each other, yeah. maybe sometimes you got to let it happen. Oh, uh, Go- Golden State let it happen. How'd that work out? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was they, one where they dest- should have kept it That apart. destroyed that mm-hmm. locker room. Destroyed. That's a good point. That destroyed it. Um, I, I don't... I used to hate when it got that contentious you know, it's, in practice. It's, I, um, I never thought it should. It's funny you brought this up because I don't disagree with... Because Dion's right about that. He's right. That's one way to look at it. No, but he's right because I, from personal experience, I know that I had some, math, I had some teammates that would do that. So, um, but that's not the only reason he lets people fight. That's just one of them. No, but I think he just thinks it's part of it. You know, he's not wrong. Yeah, and when you're struggling, it's it's more prevalent than when you're winning. (laughs) Um, So maybe that brings the team together because it could galvanize the team. They got three games left. They win those three. They're eligible. Eligible. There's there's reason to look. This is the thing. They were a one-win team last year. He literally flipped 64 spots on that roster. <laughs> if they go from t- – because t- honestly, we, we've p- people have pissed on him. But, but he said – and he's not wrong. They were seven players away, and that's the interior. Mm-hmm. He's not wrong because that's where they got killed this year. Yeah. Um, but, and he could get that in one year. He literally with the portal and everything. He could get that one year. But I'm saying that the, the thing about it is they have something to play for. Because if they if they go from one win to seven or eight in one year, in that conference, that's an outstanding. That's job. an outstanding job. Okay, whatever you know, whether or not I. And again, there were th- there were a couple things he did that I disagreed with during the year. Most stuff he did, I agreed with. But um, overall, if they were to go from one win to seven in that conference this year, that's monumental. To me, he's coach of the year if he does that. Mm. In terms of where they were. Right. To do that in one fucking year? That's in that conference? Pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> that's very impressive. He didn't do it in a cupcake oh, this conference. This guy's got cramps. Oh, that sucks. By the way, we're watching, yeah, Wyoming UNLV. We're 823 to go on 30. It's 2114 UNLV. Um, and Adani, the, the fake show won. They held on in Phoenix. They won. LeBron had another great night. Anthony Davis decided to st- show up and stay, stick around. And um, Phoenix had a shot at the end to make it interesting, but they, they missed an open three that went in and out. So it was 20, 120 to 160, and we turned it off. They fouled with, like, one second left. So LA's probably making free throws. It's probably over. But they were up more than a possession, so Phoenix didn't have enough time to do anything. So, um, anyway, uh, we were looking at this college football on a Friday night. We've had some good experiences, obviously. We were just regaling one of them with, uh, with Colorado. Um, I forget who they're playing tomorrow. Um, but the thing is, they've got th- – their road is not easy. They, no, they, because, not, of, because of that conference. That conference is loaded. And yeah. um, the Stanford game is the one that pisses you off. Because if you're rooting for them, because that's game they, they should they should have won it. Yeah. They should have won it. They should be look at they, they're four they they're four and five. They should be five and four, one win away. Now they're two wins away to get bowl eligible when they should have already had one in their back pocket. And yeah. they, and all three teams left are, are good. They're not they're, they're good. They're not t- great. They're good. So they could lose. They could win them. They could lose. Um, they and again, it's hard for me to say. Well, you put yourself in this position when all that program knows is, is known as losing for a long time. Yeah. You don't just flip that in one day. 
He's trying to do something that doesn't normally happen. At oh, they have Arizona today. At Arizona's 2 good. Who's six and three? And look at their three losses. They're number twenty-three. Yeah, and look at the three losses they have. You'd be like, what "Yep, they? they're fucking Washington, they're fucking Oregon, and they're fucking." I mean, they. they I think USC is the other one. Jeez. Okay. I mean, <laughs> they're not winning these three games. Colorado's not. No. Who do they got? They got Arizona, Washington State, and then Utah. Oh fuck. Maybe they get one. Where's the Arizona game? It's in Colorado. They can win that one. Can they beat Washington State? At Washington State? That's where it is. I don't know. And then Utah at Utah. Utah's ranked 13. They're not beating Utah at Utah. Washington State's in West Chance. They're the only unranked one right now. Mm-hmm. And they're like 6-3 and three too, I believe. They got a good record. Um, <laughs> so our five and four. They? They're a good team. Well, when you said there was a tough road, <laughs> it's a tough road. I'm saying it's a tough road. Um, because they and they, again, they just won that damn Stanford game. That that looks a lot easier. They just got to win one of them. So now they got to win two. Yeah, it's... Um, the good news is they've got the. To me, well, Utah. I don't oh, know. It's a late hit. I don't know if Utah's better than or if Arizona's better than Utah. I don't know who's better than who, but. Um, well, I mean, Arizona's ranked 23. Utah's ranked 13. Yeah, but Arizona I know that played, Arizona's played a tougher schedule. That's a late hit. Yeah. That is a late hit. And then the guy on the sideline pushed the kid. Did they, they didn't call it? Uh-uh. Oh, Jesus. UNLV is trying to uh, basically win this game. Any yeah. points here really? Well, it's puts, third quarter. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's the third. There's six minutes ago. I keep forgetting. He keeps I, losing I, track of this. I keep, <laughs> Well, it's it's 1 a.m. I know. So I'm thinking this game's got to be over. over. But it's West Coast time. That's why I love living on East Coast. These late games. It's awesome. So this and is, in Vegas. Is, is this in Vegas? It's in Vegas, dude. Love it. Gotta love it. Do Gotta you love say it. Vegas or Vegas? Vegas. I, I say Vegas. Vegas. DJ says Vegas. I've never heard anyone say that. But he's from down here, too. So he knows. says Vegas. Vegas? Like that? Ve- like, well, he actually says Vegas? Yeah, well, because it's spelled V E G A S. I kn- so he says Vegas. We say Vegas. Vegas. He Vegas, says, baby. He Vegas. Says Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> also, have you ever? This could have been that, in your two cents. Have you? I know. This is another, <laughs> have you ever eaten that? This is another thing he says. Have you ever eaten the Asian broth-like food called PHO? Do you know how to say that? Pho. It's actually pho. Pho. I think it's With a PHO? Korean. Yeah. It's a Korean. It's I think. this is food? What kind of food? Mm-hmm. What is it? Asian. It's like it's like no, broth, it it's f- like broth with meat in it and noodles. It's really it's, it's delicious. A soup. Yeah. Yeah. Asian soup. <laughs> soup. Called the fro. Fra. Fa. 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 P H O is spelled so or is pronounced F A. Fa is Asian for soup? No. <laughs> No. I don't know. Agree, whatever it is. Asian. Asian isn't a language. I don't know what the fuck Pho it is. is the Asian. Is it soup? Mandarin for what is it? No, I believe it's Korean. It's Korean. Yes. But it's a, it's a soup. Soup. You know, it has noodles so in it. Is it's, it South it's, Korean soup or North Korean soup? I don't fucking know. <laughs> asshole. Well, if it's North Korean soup, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve wait, wait, I have to try. I don't know. I don't know if I can like it. It's North Korean soup. It's got to be South Korean soup, because North Korean soup, they don't want anything out of that country. When you're getting out of that country, you're in a body bag. I'm just saying. It's like Cobra Kai's body bags. That's them. Uh, anyway. Lakers won by three. Lakers won by three. Uh, oh, look, there's the championship odds. Celtics won. Bucks two. Nuggets three. Suns four. Warriors five. Clippers. Clippers? No, no, no. Oh, that's the, you know what that is? That's the tournament champion, not the. Oh. That's what that is. How are the fuck? Are t- plus forty six hundred. Put twenty on. I got news for you. There's no way that who was number th- right in front of them. Right in front of who? It was um, <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota has beaten both Denver and Boston. Minnesota should be in the top five. What the fuck are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Now they were at home. Okay, but still. Oh uh, no! They let the quarterback get out. Ah. Mm. Uh. Put the first down, too. I'm still thinking it's fourth quarter. <laughs> anyway. Still thinking. Around the association tonight, as you know, fake show one. Boston convincing win at home against Brooklyn. 
Uh, the bench delivered. Al Horford was out. And Peyton Pritchard and Hauser and, and Cornette and those guys stepped up. Jalen Brown led the way. He had 28 points at some point. Uh, he still had three stupid turnovers, but offensively he was much better than the other. We only had 11. But Boston, this you know what the problem was, and this is it's fool's gold again. They, they, they it was a three point contest between Boston and Brooklyn, and Boston has better three point shooters than Brooklyn, so they won. And that's what happened in Brooklyn a week ago. It was just a little bit closer. They won by eight. While they're at home, they won by seventeen. Because it turned it was a three point shooting contest, and Boston is a better three point shooting team than Brooklyn. That's what that was. Beyond that, I take nothing out of it. They won by seventeen. Yeah, they won by eight. Playing the same game a week ago in Brooklyn. Oh. So, yeah, that makes sense. Eight there, 17 here. Yeah. Teams are usually better at home by a double. Yeah, makes sense. And Horford didn't play. Horford you only played. say 10 points, right? Yeah, 10 points better. Or is home. that in football? Football. Well, touch but they're better at home, too, in basketball. I just don't know what the, I don't know what I what I call the ratio. I don't know what that is on average. I just know they're better. Um, mm. That defense bit on that play fake hard. They really did. Um, so uh, UNLV just scored. They're seven and two, by the way. Um, they're already bowl eligible. If they win this game, they could be ranked. Watch the defense go whoop. Yeah, they watch oh, the all. Everybody go. Wow, I got right over behind them. Number eight looks stupid there. That kid must flunk a lot of classes. He just fell asleep. That was a nice fake. Yeah, he, he bit. He bit big time. And he turns around looking for somebody to yell at, but he's the, he's the last line of defense. <laughs> so go look in the mirror, number eight. Um, stop so, cheating in. Yeah, stop cheating in. Um, if you're the last line of defense, you shouldn't be biting on a fake. There's, there's ten guys in front of you to do that. <laughs> you got to be in the back. You're the one guy back there. <laughs> the quarterback literally, yeah. he put the ball in the running back's stomach like this, and he had his eyes were on the safety the whole time. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and he goes, oh. Psych. Psych. Boop. Right over the head. <laughs> and the safety went like this. <laughs> and they turned around as if to yell at somebody, and they realized, I'm the last guy back here. <laughs> so there's nobody <laughs> yelling. How do you guys let him catch that? How do you well, fucking? Oh, oh, it's just shit. me. Oh, oh. I, I shouldn't have bit on that fake one. My ten teammates did. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, everybody did. Um, <laughs> so, Celtics are now 6-2. and two. They're 1-0 and oh in this tournament. This What do they call it? International? No. In-season tournament. In-season NBA tournament. International. Uh, whatever Don't piss Joel off. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, Joel. Although, they're talking about this at the All-Star game. USA versus the world in the All-Star game. They're talking about this. They might actually do it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Who, who would it be right now? For the USA? Well, yeah, no, I, for the for the world. Jokic, ya, uh, Giannis. Weminyama? Weminyama, if he made it. Right, where's he from? Uh, France. And um, and two other guards who I forget, but they're, they're good. Against, they had like Tatum and Curry and, you know, whatever. So you'd have Yoka? <laughs> Luka. Luka. Luka was the guard. Luka was the other one. Luka, Jokic. Luka, yeah, Giannis. Giannis. And um, Luka, Jokic, Giannis. And there was another big name in there. I forget who it was. Wembenyama, right? Wembenyama. And there was a guard against against Curry and um, Booker and Tatum. And I think I think it was LeBron. Oh, no. Um, who was the four? I don't know. Um, might have been LeBron. And um, what's his nuts? Uh, Anthony Davis. And yeah, that was the starting five. Is that what they're going to do? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because then you have Durant. I think, I think dudes might play each other hard. I think that's what they're trying to do. They want, <laughs> right. they want to create competition. I think they that might. would be a way to do it. And I think the fans would love it. Um, Dude, if they play hard, that would be great. They will play hard because they're, they're now it's a whole USA versus the world thing. Like this, they're trying to prove something. Yeah. I mean, for both sides. I mean, again, it would be the rest of the world versus just the USA, which would be my point about this is why the NBA has the world champion in it because the best players in the world are on the other team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, Joel, that's why the NBA champion is the world championship. So, um, really thinking about that? Yeah. They had a problem. Yeah. I don't know how serious they are, but it's, the idea is floating around. I know they were saying they stopped the draft one. They're not going to do the draft one anymore. No, they're not. I hate that. That's stupid. That's, that's, that's kind of dumb. That's, that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, um, that could be very interesting if they did it. Um, they uh, were in week two of this, or week three of this turn, whatever it started, this, 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 or whatever it was. Week two. Week two. Um, so... I'm curious to see what the final. See, to me, this is all about right, who's in the final eight. Because the final eight, I'll probably get gassed up for. Because that could that could be very interesting. If it's who we think it could be. 
you know, if you're talking Denver and, and Golden State and Milwaukee, Boston, that that and Minnesota, where Minnesota's playing right now, and Philadelphia, that could be very, very interesting. That finally, it really could be. So to me, that's where the interest will jump because if it's the if it's the eight that I think it could be, that could be fun to watch. That would be fun to watch. So um, we'll see what happens with that. Um, in the meantime, I think it might take some time for it to really catch on the in-season tournament. I think that if that final eight is what it could be, it could catch on pretty quick. You think so? Yep. It's all about matchups. It's all about the, who. Okay, who is this final eight? If it's the eighth of the, that everybody thinks it should be, and it actually turns out that way, that's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, because then they're not playing conferences; they're playing however they see this, how they see it. You could have Western Conference teams playing Eastern Conference teams. That would be awesome. That'd be fun. Denver against Boston, or Denver against Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. You know, Boston against you know Minnesota. I mean, there could be some seriously awesome matchups in this yeah. thing. So um, that that's got potential. We'll see what it turns out to be. Um, I don't know what it is that I'm missing from it, but it's like, well, to your point though, if, if the players care, if they don't care, then you're going to get eight teams. Like well, we know, that's not all the best eight teams. Right. That's that's what the, that's what the concern is. Now, by the way, that's justifiable. Because that's not the trophy you're known for. Yeah. It's the one at the end of the year. The yeah. world, ch- that thing. <laughs> so that's I'm why I think not, it might take some time. For I'm not really risking. If, really. if, if I'm an NBA team, I totally get the whole, especially if you have a veteran team like Golden State. Not Golden State. Yeah, Golden State, you know, Phoenix or, or um, the Clippers, where these guys can't be durable anyway. Like, I don't want to play in that fucking thing. I don't care. UNLV D-line just broke through. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Oh. It he spun up. around lost 15. Spun around once. This is like, oh, God. No, you're not getting away. Um, so this is this is the, the, the threat to this. If there's a veteran team out there, like Phoenix maybe. Because we can't even get three guys on the, field, on the court now. Fuck this. I don't care. But we're trying to play for June. Right. Would I understand that? Yes, I would. Screen pass to the tight end. Oh, my God. He's got wheels. No, he doesn't. <laughs> On second and 20, they get 30. Damn. Wyoming trying to make this a game, America. If they score here, it's a Donnie. And against popular opinion, it's actually the third quarter. Oh, was that, was that, a, was that a tight end screen? Yeah, that's what I just said. Damn. Screen to the tight end. Up to 50 yard line, up to 45. Look oh, yeah, you heard a little hurdle. Feet. Look at the feet. little hurdle. He's a, he's a stocky fella. Um, so there's 30 He's seconds. going to be playing on Sunday. I think he might be. For um, a long They time. Uh, He has potential. Um, it's first and 10 on the 41-yard line of UNLV with 20 seconds to go in the third, America. Um, Wyoming threatening to make this a game. Oh, he gets stopped. Uh, so this is going to wind down last play of third. They're going to let it run out probably. So... Um, in event, uh, we're going to wind down, too, because we're freezing our balls off. <laughs> We've got 23 minutes in this segment. Um, I just poured myself another half shot. Oh, well, I guess we can stay, I guess. I'm going to go now. Um, so Want some chips? In event, um, these the, dried dill pickle chips. They're amazing. They really are. They're, wow. the, best, they're the best chip out there. Um, and speaking of which, fourth segment yeah. brought to you by. Yeah. That's Yitz, Yitz. Utz. Is it Utz or Utz? Utz. 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 <laughs> Doesn't that sound like German? a... Utz. Utz. He was Utz. like, what is it? Utz? Utz. Uh, Utz. 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 Uh, have you ever had a Utz? But no, I'm Italian. It's Utz. Utz. It's Utz. Exactly. It's Utz. Oh, yeah. Utz. Hey. It's Utz. Hey. It's Utz. Hey, Utz. Utz. Hey, Utz, Utz over there. I'm sounding right. Utz. Hey, Utz over there. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, anyway. Segment four brought to you by Utz. Utz. <laughs> Ripple fried pickle. Best chip on the market. Fried America. dill pickle potato chips. Best best chip. And it's a it's a collab. <laughs> it's a collab. Hang on a second. It's a collab with this. Hell of a good. Oh dear God, that light. That light. <laughs> that fucking dear light. Dear God, that light. Hell of a French onion. Dip. It's coming from the heavens. I swear to God. So hell of a <laughs> hell of a good dip. Okay, that's what it's called. America, you know what a hell of a good dip. Means. Hell of a good dip has many variations. It needs no they, name. They need to stop. It's okay? the Rolls Royce of dip. They don't need all these variations. The bacon one, the bu- whatever the fuck it is. Why? They're all succulents. The buttermilk. No. The French onion normal, best one they got. This buttermilk one is... I don't like it as good as the French onion. Spectacular. I love the French onion. I'm not knocking the French onion. French onion is better than the butter. I'm just saying, this is spectacular. I am loving it. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to think of classic things... Where one of their spin-offs is better. You think, I can think oh, of one tough. right now. What? 
So when you think about Doritos, the Cool Ranch Dorito is one of the best spin-off snacks ever created. Sequel. The sequel was actually better than the original one. You I mean, might, you the, might have a point. That's a good one, that's right? That's a good one. I mean, that's uh, a good one. That's a tough call. I can see why you'd say that. Can you think of any candy like that? Any cookies? Any snacks? Well, there's the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and the Reese's Pieces. I don't know where you stand on those. They're both great. I don't know. Oh, you... oh, oh, hold on a second. You just brought it up. What? The Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Yeah. When you think about the best Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, what do you think about? Either the egg or the pumpkin on Halloween. The egg on Easter, the pumpkin on Halloween. Well, Are Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I mean, shaped like it. They're better because there's yeah. more peanut butter, there is more peanut. and the chocolate is softer. Yeah, you don't really lose the chocolate. That's, you know, because a because a, a traditional Reese's peanut butter cup, it's hard on those edges. Yeah, which I actually that, like that. It's nice, but there's not that much peanut butter in it. No, it's, it's all real, on the inside, in the middle. There's a lot of peanut butter in that. No, there's not. Not as much as the pumpkin or the egg. I would agree that there's more in the but but there's not like there's nothing in the regular one. There is. There's just more in the other one. I'm not saying there's nothing. I'm I'm saying I think the shape has something to do with it. I'm saying those other ones are better. The sequel. What else is there? Starburst. I like regular Starburst better than the tropical. Um, you know, that's an interesting one. I like them both. I don't know which one I like more. Probably the original. I think the original Starburst are better. But the I like the tropical ones too. I don't. They're fine. Them. I mean, um, I think Mike um, and Ike's classic is the best. Yeah, it's funny. Tropical Mike and Ike's. I, I don't. don't, like I don't them. Not like them, but they're not really in my top ten. <laughs> what Mike and Ike's? Yeah, they're kind of there. Oh my god, they're one of my faves, dude. They're not one of mine. I don't I hate. Love them. Mike and Ike's. Now the 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 sequel Mike and Ike's. No thank you. What was the sequel Mike? Same way Skittles and Starburst have like that blue one. There's like a blue tropical one. There's a couple. Oh, they did a spinoffs. An island theme, right? If you will. Um, but those are rarely as good as the original sweet candies. Hmm. I didn't think of that. Although I have, Brian's been talking about Rainbow Twizzlers. Yeah. I think they have. They're filling. He threw filling. me for a loop on that one. Yeah. So I those might be good. I no. have to check. That's a late hit. 15 Where? yards. Oh, shit. Ball's gone. Oh, yeah. 15 yards. Did they throw the flag? No, it's fourth and three. Of they didn't throw the flag? Didn't. Oh, no, they're kicking a field goal? No. Damn. How far is it? He's two for seven his last four games. That's not a chip 52. shot. 52. He yanked it. Bad decision. Ugh. Two and seven. Here's a 52 yarder. Or two for seven. That was too far. Ugh. Too far. And all they had, they had it was a fourth and three. Should have gone for it. Yeah. If a guy, if my kicker fourth quarter now, finally fourth quarter is two for his last seven. Not kicking a 50. I'm gonna have him to kick a 50 yard. <laughs> if we, if it's a 30 yarder, sure. Maybe yeah. That'll give him his confidence. The idea is to get him out of the slump, not, not prolong him. But right <laughs> now, with only one quarter left, a field goal still makes it a two-possession game. Like, oh. I don't like the field goal there regardless of where you are. I think they should have gone for it. But more because the kicker sucks. But even if it was a 4 to 3 from the 15, what does the 3 really do for you? We've got to get three scores to win. What? You still need that third score. Right. So what does it really do for you? Get you one of the three scores you need. Because now it's just two touchdowns. Win. But it's still two scores. Yep, think of it. After that, you still need two scores. But technically, you need three to win. So it's about sure. possessions. So you score on one of your three possessions. You have to score on all three. All right, you got one of them. However you get it, you get it. You need 17 points to win. I still I hate it from 52 yards, maybe. Maybe the 52 yards kill me. If it was a makeable field goal. I think they should have gone for it because of the kicker. But I get yeah. why he did it, but I think they should have gone for it. To me, if, I, if my kicker is two or less seven. 
Well, because I'm not tried, asking for a 50 showed the first five games, he was eight for eight. Yeah, in the last, and then in the last three, yeah. he's two for seven, or what, however many. No, awful. Well, Rockets beat the Pelicans, five and three. Pelicans have fallen off too. Dude, the the Grizzlies are awful. Tell you what, it looks like the Jazz are too. John ja Morant is quietly making his case for MVP. <laughs> And he hasn't picked up a basketball. Mm -mm. Kings are only four and four. What's going on with them? If I were on any one of these panels right now, because this conversation has come up, who's your MVP right now? I'm instantly going to John Moran. <laughs> I'm instantly saying that they're one. They were. They were. A, that team was flirting with sixty wins last year. They're one and eight. Were they a top three seed last year? Uh huh. At one point, they were too soon. And they also lost Dylan Brooks. But he got suspended. <laughs> <laughs> they lost their one, too. Dylan mm -hmm. Brooks and John Moran. Well, I don't believe Dylan Brooks, as your two, is going to win a championship. Well, I mean, he might not have been there, too. But I mean, like, I don't point know guard. Was. I meant they're one and two, like point guard and shooting guard. Yeah. Man. Dylan Brooks should have stopped bad mouthing LeBron. That was a problem. He's annoying. Yeah, that's just pathetic. He's, he's just kind of playing a character. It feels like. But he's but it's just like he just. He's been doing all right with the with the fucking. Rockets. Well, yeah, well. Udoka is a good coach. Hope he'll keep it his pants this time, right, Emmy? <laughs> um. <laughs> Emmy. 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 Udoka. Emmy Udoka. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What are they doing with all this fucking movement? Anyway, Boston wins. Bench showed up tonight. Peyton Pritchard, Hauser, all had very good games. As did Cole Quinnette. Big man. Stepped up. That was a good sign. Who the hell is Cole Quinnette? Uh, it's, uh, is it Cole? It's with a C. I don't know if it's Cole. Kale? Mm, maybe. Carver? Oh. He's a seven foot two white kid. Um good post moves, runs the screen and roll well, good medium range shot, um block shots on defense. We'll follow big man. Cole Komet? Maybe. That's the Bears tight end. Oh my god. Good D. Good D. Shit, Mali beat uh, Uzbekistan. That's soccer. Spain beat Canada. That's the under-17. That's 17. the under-17 FIFA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ma'am. You see that? Ra oh, terrible throw. My God. All right, we don't know their that names. That was wide open for a touchdown. But the UNLV receiver dusted this kid. Oh, my God. And that throw was so hard. He gave him a little oh boop beat. He left him in the dust. He gave him the boop beat. You know the boop beat? He gave him the boop beat. <laughs> yeah. He dropped the C-3PO mm -hmm. R2-D2 on him. Mm -hmm. well, and the UNLV quarterback threw it about 20 yards too short. Well, first down anyway. Another big-ass tight end. My God. I got some talent. I feel like tight ends grow on trees nowadays. Well, I mean, if you got one. I mean, look how big this guy is. I would argue that right now, currently, in the NFL, there's only one team that I put in the top tier that doesn't have a good tight end. That would be Cincinnati. Yeah. Look at Baltimore, Philly, San Fran. Shit, even Detroit. And they gave Hawkinstein away. Um, he drafted the second coming. Yeah. I mean, well, Miami. Who's Miami's tight end? Not, that guy's not great. And they gave away Gusecki. No. Oh. You can give him back. <laughs> you give him back. Y'all actually paid decent money for him. But that, hey, he caught the game when he touched on against Buffalo. Um, yeah, it's all, I don't think they again. It's all he's done. They never. They never. He did nothing the before he's done. Yeah. Uh, Man, that guy got well, you know why they can't throw him the ball? Whiplash on the because ground. they can't run the ball. That was all about play action. If your offensive line stinks, it affects your passing game. Mm. 
In other words, America, when you can't run the ball, you can't usually pass it either. You have to have grade A studs on the outside to be able to pass. Gusecki's a decent tight end. He's not a stud, but he's decent in his point. But if they if they were able to run the ball the way they were projected to run the ball, he'd probably have a prominent role, but he doesn't because they can't run. Yeah, good um, play design. That was. So that goes to their inept offensive line, which everyone knew was a problem and they never addressed, <laughs> um, which falls back on the same asshole that I've been yelling at for three years now. That would be double B, Bill Belichick. Yeah. <laughs> Who, by the way, America, his job is on the line. Just saying. So you know. If they get embarrassed on Sunday, and part of me really hopes they do. I don't think they will. No, they probably won't. There's part of me that thinks they might throw Minshew for a loop and win that game. They don't have the weapons. I don't know that you necessarily need weapons to score in the Colts. You just gotta. Just every team that scored them seems to have an abundance of weapons. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I haven't seen a team like the Patriots light them up for thirty. I'm just. I well, Cleveland. Seen. Cleveland. Amari Cooper is better than anything the Patriots that's have. That's true. They have, and Kareem Hunt is better than anything the Patriots no, have. No, Kareem Hunt is like Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, he was a thousand yard rusher. So was Ezekiel Elliott. He's younger than him. Is he? Yeah. By what? A year? It was close. But Kareem Hunt was out of the league. They picked him up no, three was, weeks ago. He was injured. They dropped him because of a contract thing. And they took him right back. When he, and he, by the way, he's, he's played well. League. He's played well. I know, but he's no hes no better than Zeke Elliott. He is right now. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> he is right now. Um, but... The thing is, like the Patriots, if you don't have an offensive line and you don't have ones on the outside, you're fucked. You can't compensate for it because those guys have to win. You have to have guys that can win in two seconds. And the Patriots don't have a guy like that, I don't think. I mean, Demario Douglas maybe, but they don't. They have to. Oh, have my to. God, they can't stop Jeez. a third down. No. This is like Pat's Commanders. 80% on third down. Yeah. Where's all that money, Bill? Ultimate injured, depleted defense. <laughs> Were they 9 for 14 on third down? They were 9 for 17, mm. which is still over 50%. And they were but on the, the but road. That, that, it, it felt worse than 9 for 17. Oh, well, they were always big. That, that third and 23 when the quarterback five ran. Of them, five of them must have been long. They were. They were more than third and nine. Yeah. Five of them. That's just terrible coaching right there. Five of them <laughs> in your house with that team? And it was predictable. It was predictable Bad. as shit. Bad. I mean, if your team knew how to tackle, they would have stopped one of them. <laughs> Dude, third, what was it? Third and 23, third and 23 in the fucking quarterback, who was spinning he's around, stumbling and bumping for 24 hit, yards. Waiting for someone to put him out of his misery. <laughs> and what did the Pats do? They tap dance him across the It literally the looked like he closed his eyes and ran 10 he yards. He spun around twice. <laughs> Just waiting to get decapitated. Oh, must have been a penalty. And the Patriots hold his hand and waltz him across the fucking yard. <laughs> But that's Mac Jones' fault. Just remember that, Tom. Mac Jones does all the tackling drills. He leads them all. This He's field, this field goal is going to put them out of reach. This is. Um, they yeah. make this field goal. They make this is over because they can't over. get enough the clock because they, they have don't to, have enough time for three nope. possessions. That's why that field goal would have been huge. But this guy's probably going to make it because you know he's a better team. He's nineteen for twenty. <laughs> guy's an ace. As long as fifty-two. And that goes yeah. right down the fucking pipe. Game's yeah, over. game over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> uh, that's it. Mm. Well, plus three. His last play? name's Paisano. He's a fucking See, guinea. Right, right there, we should have put money on him. Paisano. Knew Paisano the, drills the it. Was gonna Paisano it. drills it from 35. Oh, it's pretty. Dude, that's right down the pipe. Look at the yeah. Look at the top to bottom spin on that. Tell you. End over end, as they say. Yeah. Textbook. Is that what you would call end over end? I'd call that textbook by Paisano. That's what I call it. Anyway, that's a, that's it for us, America. Yeah, We're freezing uh, our tits off. Yeah. Um, well, you I guys, wish, I wish that was possible. Uh, I know they're already gone. <laughs> I wish I could freeze my tits off. They're in my way. <coughs> and I just hey, ate a bunch of hell of a dip, so they'll still be there tomorrow. They'll still be there tomorrow. Anyway, you guys enjoy the football this week, and we will return on Tuesday night to recap the glory. Uh, or the utter despair. We'll see what happens. And potential coaching vacancies. Until then, for the redoubtable one, Tom Izzo, the highly questionable one, Arjun Miliaccio, America, stay loose. See you soon. <laughs>